بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد continuing on in our series about the importance of ikhlas sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I wanted to read a very beneficial statement by Shaykh al-Islam Ibn al-Qayyum Rahimahullah Ta'ala and Ibn al-Qayyum he said a very beneficial statement regarding the importance of of doing righteous deeds and having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قال شيخ الإسلام رحمه الله تعالى قال لو نفى العلم بلا عمل لما ذم الله سبحانه أهبار أهل الكتاب ولو نفى العمل بلا إخلاص لما ذم المنافقين Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala said regarding ikhlas, regarding sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He said If knowledge Would If knowledge would be considered beneficial Without doing deeds then Allah would not have spoken ill of it in the Quran you know said that it was something mithmum, something sinful meaning to practice to have knowledge and not practice it and then he said rahimahullah ta'ala that or in completing the statement he said that that if knowledge would contain benefit without deeds then Allah would not have condemned the priests of the people of the book meaning their religious leaders why because they had knowledge and they didn't practice that knowledge and if deeds were of any benefit without sincerity, without ikhlas then Allah would not have condemned the munafiqun those people, who, the hypocrites meaning that that is a condemna condemnation of the, the hypocrites why? because the hypocrites they do righteous deeds you'll see them in the masajid praying as we mentioned before we'll see them fasting you'll see them doing righteous deeds but it won't benefit them why? because they don't have any ikhlas lillah they don't do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they do it for other reasons this illustrates for us the importance of having sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of our deeds in all of our actions in seeking knowledge because when we have actions without ikhlas it's as if we have no actions at all. Matter of fact, those actions can bear witness against us. And when we have ikhlas with the wrong amal, with the wrong actions, that can also go against us. For example, look at those people who do terrorist acts and spread facade around the earth in the name of Islam or in the name of jihad or in the name of something honorable by Islam but yet their actions are wicked actions but however 
perhaps some of those individuals may have sincerity in their hearts. They may be sincere in trying to please their Lord, but because of their own ignorance and because of their misguidance, their deed is not accepted. So a person can have a class without amal, and this goes back to that very important, those conditions that we mentioned in order to have our deeds accepted. And they are first and foremost that we have to have ikhlas lillah, sincerity to Allah, and we have to do righteous deeds in accordance with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And I ask Allah the Almighty to grant us good and forgive us of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.